Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisors channel. On today's episode, we'll talk about uh, Bit Digital Incorporated traded at Nasdaq Tick and MBTBT. Well, um, Bit Digital made today minus 10, uh, 38 percent, quite strong decline, uh, not completely, let's say, expected here, but also technically showing that we are uh, to have a new negative cascade. Actually, it's not. Uh, if it will be purely technical trade, it's not the end. Also, if you look here uh, on the right uh, bottom corner, um, the MACD histogram, it's positive and descending, meaning that we could go lower in the price. And uh, RSI on the um, right top corner is just in the middle, so it's not very decisive, but most probably it will follow the price action and will decline further. So, so we might go close to, um, let's say, oversold area again. Slowly, gradually creating, of course, a positive pressure, but for now, it's still um, in correction, and it would be advised to wait a little bit to see what is going actually to happen. You see, after hours, here we're trading a little bit with plus, but this is just a normal volatility, especially given that the volume traded today was about uh, 2.2 millions. So overall, what we can see here is kind of a, uh, after, cor uh, let's say, um, a s preparation for a second uh, correction because the first correction took place from mid-February to mid-March here. And uh, what you can see uh, is actually um, we declined with really nice uh, channel and there were expectations that this channel will be finished with uh, some, let's say, uh, final decision and grow, but it just made one wave and then we started to do some kind of um, volatility with some accumulation instead of really returning and growing higher. So this didn't happen, might be delayed and uh, this delayed effect was expected here. So it was expected we really will pierce higher. But we see, uh, let's say, the decline. So what does it mean for us? For us, it means that we can continue lower. And to understand this, we just need to look a little bit at a bigger scale here because we see the price is already very high. We made actually first wave in mid of November previous year. And then second wave started by close to the end of the year with really enormous price action, uh, correction rebounds, and then major correction. So now we are in kind of... Um, let's say, um, accumulating volatility, but this very big decline shows that probably we will go again another corrective move, which will be kind of uh, exponential decay. This being said, uh, it can be stopped only with the strong support levels, uh, if it will be purely technical, and those support levels would be, uh, in best case, it would be a double support. So first one will be, of course, moving average uh, 200, this red line which is coming here, on this kind of charts it usually works as a very strong support and of course another support is uh, the level of uh, 1195 which was many times a uh, very strong start point by end of the year and also a good support level you could see in March and April. So with this being said actually here we have two levels in which it would be advised to start buying Indeed, it's quite a big channel, uh, but you see that price volatilities and price changes is also quite big. So according to relatively to these changes, this channel is actually not big. So this would be between uh, 933 and 11.95 to buy first, because if this continues descending here, this will be area where it can stop rebounds from moving average 200 and return. This way we will actually mimic the situation that was happening uh, from mid-February uh, till uh, mid of March with some nice rebounds and then you could make some profit here and, and again speaking of profit taking it's always advised that our channel and we keep saying it from one video to another that we take ourselves our team the profit and we advise taking profit from 10 to 15 percent on normal uh, charts let's say um, because this is very safe this is the best way to do it and once you take it either re-enter or check other opportunities there are many opportunities also you can find at our channel as well so with this being said the first level to buy 
would be between 933 uh, and 1195. Let's uh, write it here. So 933, 1125. And then we would hope for first rebounds here. What's next? What if we go lower? Well, it's not that much expected, but sometimes we could also pierce moving average 200, although it will be double support in this area. If this is happening, of course, uh, there is immediately another very strong um, support level that is uh, that can be seen. It actually starts right at 8.04 and ends at uh, 7, because this one is uh, the level of previous wave the level of volatility of previous wave and reboosting so it will work again as a very strong channel to enter so we can uh, write it again between 7 and uh, 804 so let's write it here this would be second uh, channel to enter if you would like to trade it still uh, this one would be within let's say the technical expectation uh, if there is no uh, negativity due to news but what if some negativity comes of course it's not expected at all here but we always need to take this into account. It's not that we predict this price, it's just we want to mitigate risks because the philosophy of these videos that are posted on this channel, these opinions, opinion videos, is that um, it's better to spend a little bit more time for trading but still exit with profit. Because there is another strategy, very popular, very common also, is that you can uh, stop loss, cut loss, exit with loss, no problem, you take your time, you win your time, you re-enter. This is nice for very confident traders, for fast traders, but if you are more, let's say, still daily trader, but more relaxed, uh, you trade as uh, for secondary income, let's say for passive, still big, but still passive income, then uh, maybe you would appreciate more relaxed and more safe way, less nervous, let's say, when you just enter slowly, wait a little bit longer but still exit with profit so if you are a person like that then uh, maybe this kind of analysis this kind of strategy will be the best for you and then how to mitigate risks imagine like we can have these two technical levels but then if some negativity comes we could of course return all the way to historical up to half year ago trades and taking into account risk mitigation means that you really need to go to the very principal levels from where the price actually have to rebounds and this would be if you just look here these are these two levels it's between 455 and 553 so let's write it here 455 and 553 so this is the very principal level from where the price uh, should rebounds even if we have very negative news because uh, this is a principal trade that was happening up to half a year ago so even if some dramatic news comes and we cancel all this enormous growth that was taking place, especially by beginning of the year, from there we need to rebound. And then even if you will be trapped in the price, you can still exit at least with a draw over the profit still. And with this being said, uh, that's the these are the levels to enter. And if you ask yourself how we buy here, it's still usually advised that our channel 5 portions trade because here we don't expect any extra, uh, let's say, um, risks and what does it mean five portions play it means that the money you would like to play here you can split in five portions then you can buy with one portion already in the first channel if we decline further technically you can buy with another two portions and actually if negativity comes negative catalyst kicks in you can buy again with two portions in the third channel and uh, then you can wait for rebounds and once you have 10 to 15 percent profit from all money allocated in this position we just it's advised to, uh, let's say, sell or we would, we would sell and take the profit here. So, also it's important to understand how you buy through the channel because imagine you have two portions and you would like to buy through the second channel. You, of course, you don't want to buy immediately when channel is activated. Also, you don't want to wait until the end of the channel because you might not reach there. The price could start rebouncing even earlier. So, it's advised to sub-split those portions, two portions, to another two free portions and then buy with one once channel is activated so once you reach the top price of the channel and then start slowly buying through the channel so this way one once the rebounds takes place you will be closer to the middle of the channel and you you will be taking the most possible profit here 
uh, with this kind of trade. So overall, a uh, very interesting uh, stock. Also, still what is important to remember here, there is another uh, a trend line, uh, which is still not completely confirmed, but might be working as well. Um, because today's candle is a little bit dangerous, so it might mean that this uh, line is not completely confirmed. Let's call it um, T1. But what could be happening is that this T1 line will work as a strong attractor here. So once the price declines to the first channel, it will return us probably um, to T1 line because it will work long time as a strong attractor because you see that also rebounds took place here at uh, mid of March. So uh, actually closer to 20th, 20th of March. So this means that even if you pierce it lower, the price will try to go back and it's already maybe from the first channel, the most probable trade from the first channel, we will already return to the vicinity of T1, which will again allow you to make this desired profit 10 to 15%. So quite safe stock if you do it wisely, slowly, without rush and emotions. Good luck with it. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you're first time watching this video. Press the bell button, this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.